What's up everybody, Snoop12922. And I kind of got caught up in a bunch of stuff yesterday, had some people come over, so um, I wasn't able to get a video up of my pickups, but just going to do this one, do it real quick. Anyway, uh, one thing that I will say is that a long time ago I did a video on how I do Google Sheets. Well, I have the uh, Sheets app in my phone, which makes it great because I'm trying to build a set. So if you saw the last video right there near the end, uh, when I was talking about the Willie Mays and the uh, Kofax card, 1960s, if you saw in that video, that guy had a stack of 61 Fleer. Well, it made it great when you have that Sheets app in your phone because I was able to just hit the button, well, pull up the app, pull up my checklist, bam. And there are other cards I'm working on too. I'll talk about that later. I'm working on a full run of Eddie Murray. I think Eddie Murray is, I mean, Eddie was a dynamic player, but Eddie just doesn't get any hobby love. So I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to do an Eddie Murray run. I've started working on it. That's what some of the stuff from Beck, um, Burbank Sports Cards was. Uh, I, I'll still show them. You know, it's not a big deal. But anyway, from that dealer, uh, the 61 Fleer set, and I'm trying to pick up cards. I want the set to be a near mint set. Uh, it's very hard. Those cards are notorious for being diamond, um, like a diamond print where the pitcher is turned slightly uh, off-centered. I mean, though, it, and a lot of them are just trashed. So to be able to find some I needed for that set, this is Judge Lannis. And I did not pay the $5 for it, you know. Like I said, it worked deals. And you can see the card is centered really, really well. The corners are sharp. There's the back of it. Um, that's what I love with going to a show. You know, you can talk to the dealers, get great deals. This is Joe Medwick, the Cardinals. Another one. Now, the centering on this one is a little bit off. But the card itself is in fantastic condition. Uh, the corners and everything are beautiful. Just a little bit off-centered on the front. Right there. It's a little bit to that side. But these are notorious for being off-centered. The next one I got was Earl Combs. The centering on this one is really, really good. Really well. So... Um, Another fantastic pickup from CSA. And I've got two more of those I picked up. This is Ban Johnson. And there's the back. Well, yeah. There's the back of that one. Uh, next one is Dolph. LaRouque. Gotta forgive me. I haven't had all my coffee this morning. I'm a coffee guy. Once again, uh, centering is just about there. I'd say it's off about 10%. But the corners, the color, everything with these for this uh, 61 Fleer. And what really helped me was the fact that I have that checklist saved in Google Sheets. And I'm able to pull it anytime I want. You know, just as long as my phone has some battery, um, I'm able to pull it. This one is a Bowman Chrome of Max Scherzer I picked up. It's gold, numbered to 50. I can't remember the year of this one. I did not pay anywhere near the price on that. This card is so shiny. My computer screen just cut on. I had it off, but um, that's it's... Uh, Number to 50. And it's a fantastic card. Absolutely fantastic. Great for the Scherzer PC. Uh, the next one, this is, I believe, the 79 Eddie Murray. I have his rookie. Um, I don't know if I've even shown that on camera. I did not pay the $12 for this card. Um, it's getting ready to get switched over. But look at how beautiful that card is. The corners and edges and everything are very sharp on it. The registration is perfect. 
I mean, it's just absolutely perfect. I'm uh, sorry for this glare, but like I said, my screen just came on and it's in night mode now. So, but and I'll keep it back here a little bit. It, and you can see a little better. This card is really sharp, really centered. Um, and this is a very hard card to find. Anyone that's looked for those, those cards from the late 70s knows that centering and uh, registration and everything on those cards is ridiculous. And this one was another one I picked up. It's, a, it's for my Roy Campanella run I'm doing. And it's just a hair off top to bottom. But the registration, the corners, everything on this card is ridiculously beautiful. And it's the 61 Campanella. And it, this card is super bright. I mean, it's a fantastic card. I picked this thing up for 10 bucks, if you can believe. 10 bucks from the show. When you can find vintage like that for $10 of a Hall of Famer, you got to grab it. You got to grab it. Um, I talked with Andrew, enough said cards, and uh, showed him the card and, you know, told him, showed him exactly where the dealer was. And Andrew's bought quite a bit from that dealer before. So, you know, that's a great thing with going to a show, especially when you're going with a good friend. You know, it, they've worked with those dealers. So I got that card for 10 bucks. I, I can't believe it in that condition. That's superb. Now for some of the bigger stuff in the bag and I had mentioned these got the uh, mainline autographs in my other video um, I picked up two of these that'll give you a hint as to something that I've picked up uh, the former ticket leprechaun Jake uh, he's gonna like what's getting ready to go in these because he loves collecting his Hall of Fame baseball autographs but the first one and, you know, this is a Brooks Robinson with the, I really didn't want to pull these out, but you've got a Brooks Robinson autograph with a Hall of Fame inscription. I got such a steal on this autograph baseball that there was no way I, I could turn it away. Let's just say, got that for like 20 bucks. Talking to the dealer, um, that's 20 bucks for a Hall of Fame autograph on a baseball. The ball costs more than $20. Let's be real. So I basically bought a ball and got the autograph for free. And not only did I do it once, and yes, he was asking more than that for it, but I bundled and uh, got these two Eight autograph baseballs for 20 bucks each you know it's it's real and this one is of Bob Feller and you could tell this is a older signature of Bob Feller's because it's got a little bit of shakiness in it but autograph Bob Feller with a Hall of Fame inscription for 20 bucks $40 combined I mean, how do you not turn that away? How do you just walk away from that? <clears throat> this was the guy's card where I bought these autographs from. Uh, several people have called and messaged me and asked me about that. Uh, this is his card. So there you go. Um, mainline autographs. I'm going to be buying more from them. And one thing I will say... Uh, my collecting style is going to pretty much stay the same for 2022, but there is a there are two projects, two big projects uh, I'm going to be working on for 2022, and one of them is a lot of the goats. Uh, I want to get autographs or relics from the goats, and I want to get a lot of memorabilia. Sorry about that. When you know somebody just posted a video. Um, I want to get autograph memorabilia. I want unique memorabilia. And speaking of unique memorabilia, before I pull this big thing out, I have something else coming from CSA. As soon as it shows up, I'll do a video of it. But here's my receipt 
um, very cool, cool thing is coming uh, that was autographed. One or two people know what it is, but I got to figure out how I'm going to even do the video as big as that thing is. But anyway, one of the goats growing up, um, when you think of boxing, you think of, you know, the goats in boxing where you have the Jack Johnsons and all of those. But during our era, you know, I wouldn't really say Sugar Ray Leonard was a goat. Um, he was for his weight class, but when you talk about the hardcore goats of boxing that, uh, you know, everybody talked about, it's only one name you can think of, and that's Iron Mike Tyson. So I've been looking for a Mike Tyson autograph glove for quite a while, and to get a, to get one, this one, you know, me and him, me and him negotiated and everything. It's uh, certified by TriStar, but I wanted a right-handed glove. Mike is known for that devastating right hand, and I'd found several of these on eBay, but they were left-handed. I found a black one um, autographed in silver. The problem is I can't find any good pictures of Mike with a black glove because when this gets put in the shadow box, I want the picture of Mike where he's standing over, I think it was uh, Buster Douglas, and he's got, you know, almost like the Ali pose. And I want that in the background with this glove. But this was the, probably, this was the big item that I picked up from Mainline Autographs. They, they cut me a super deal on this. I mean, a very, very good deal. I am not upset with, uh, with what I got from them. And I will continue to buy more from them. Anyway, guys, that's my pickups from the show. I had a great time there. Um, the autograph glove, uh, some autograph baseballs, and some cards, especially this for my Campanella, and I think this is the 79 um, Eddie Murray. I mean, when you're dealing with vintage and it's super condition, you got to buy it. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'll hit you guys with another video. I hate putting up videos on Fridays because it's so congested with YouTube, but there you go. You guys take a, have a great day. Stay blessed. I'll see you next time. Peace.